Well, we're rolling. Hey. Well, you know, I know it's a bit late, but I felt like I needed to chime in about uh, the whole cruising for sex in public bathrooms debate. About a certain Idaho potato. Okay, you know, I read about these things years ago. Years. Those of you who have not had any contact with queer culture at all are not familiar with this at all. It's called tea rooms, cottaging, hello? It's not news to me. The whole foot tapping, hand signals thing under the stall is so 1960s, 70s, 80s, maybe even 1950s or 40s. I mean, come on. Read a book on the subject, you know. Hello? <laughs> Well, with the internet and all the gay hookup sites and all that, personal ads, you know, why go to a public restroom and have anonymous sex, a quickie with another man, when you can hook up in other ways? But, you know, why? Three words. Water Closet Queens. A brief history from Wikipedia. I'm going to read this, okay? Cottaging is a gay slang term referring to anonymous male-male sex in a public lavatory, a cottage, or to the practice of cruising for sexual partners in public lavatories with the intention of having sex elsewhere. The term may have its roots in the Old English cant language of Polari or in the fact that many self-contained English toilet blocks have in the past resembled small cottages in their appearance. Oh, how sweet. Let's go potty in a cottage. The term cottage used in this sense is a predominantly British uh, term, hence my little hey, 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 hey. Anyway, though the term is occasionally used in the same meaning in other parts of the world. Among gay men in America, lavatories used for this purpose are called tea rooms. Yes, tea rooms. And in Australia, such venues are called beats, which I've never heard before. It's not like I'm gay or anything, Jesus Christ. 1970, an American graduate student at Washington University published a famous and highly controversial Ph.D. dissertation on this, on the tea room phenomenon, hello, attempting to categorize the diverse social backgrounds and personal motives of the men who seek out homosexual contact in public venues. Cottaging is far more common among gay and bisexual men than among lesbians and heterosexuals. Duh. Women are not going to a public bathroom for sex, I'm sorry or bathhouses. It's just not happening. The dykes that I know, bi chicks that I've talked to, um, no. It, men are just so damn horny, okay? Okay. However, equivalent activity by heterosexuals is more usually referred to as dogging. There are sex clubs and swinger groups for straights. And, uh, you know, the Republican queers are an especially closeted bunch. Mr. Craig voted against gay rights over and over again in his job as an elected official. They just want to admit that, well, I've tried gay sex in the past, maybe in high school and college, and after that, my wife just isn't giving me any head or any nookie lately, and, you know, according to the religious conserva fucks, all gay males are whores who will have sex with any man they see. Anywhere, anytime, any place. So, it's all right to solicit a knob job in the loo, the potty. Not to say Larry Craig is gay. Oh dear Lord, heaven forbid that any man could possibly be bisexual. Is even more of an absolute no, 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 hell no, to the vehemently straight world. Oh no, the vehemently straight. Heterosexual assholes. There's a lot of assholery going on out there. Good God. The Holy Roller. Yes, yeah. The Holy Roller religious beliefs teach them that faggotry, faggotry. I think that's a made-up word. Is morally wrong. You're going to hell for your homosexual thoughts, Larry Craig, Ted Foot too. Soliciting massages, buying dildos at the crypt in Denver, Colorado. Hello, Broadway, South Broadway. Crystal meth, oh my. Closeted jerks of the world make it way rough enough for 
honest-to-God queers and bisexual males who are actually courageous enough to admit who they really are, their true identity. Who was that masked man? Come on, you water closet queens. Stay out of the public restrooms and find a damn DVD to whack off to, can you? You freaking idiots. Plus, the internet is for porn. The internet is for porn. The internet, internet, porn, porn, porn. You can find all the free porn you want. Yay, straight by. Whatever your kink is, baby. It's out there, okay? You don't have to go cruising in public. Slut. <laughs> and the straight people, the straights, <laughs> think they won't catch a disease from anonymous sex in a public restroom or a bathhouse. Straights. Right. Tap your butt for Jesus. Thanks for another sober day. Love yourself. Peace.